You are very entertaining. <laughs> He's like, mm, no. In the picture, it didn't look like it was gonna be that. So let's harvest. It's a postcard from Painted Desert. And she saw my videos. She wanted to send me her planner and just take a look at it. And I told her, absolutely. A really nice detail. And I really like how she breaks it down to each week. She also included meal planning. It is 6.15, I've been up for about an hour. I'm trying to transfer some of my files over to my new external hard drive since my last external hard drive went <laughs> So it's at a computer repair shop and yesterday they called, said that it's gonna still take a while because they're just so backed up. I hope it's repairable. It's only 6.16, so I can't really do much because Queen G is right there. She's sleeping soundly. But this is kind of like what I have to do in order to, you know, do YouTube. It's like I have to make some time. I'm drinking decaf coffee because I'm not too sure if I want to take a nap in a couple of hours probably not though because i need to edit i really need to edit and i might take this time to actually do my nails real quick i don't have time to do the gel right now but i do have the time to do regular the sally hansen one so i might just do that because i want to film i want to film today and i i need nail polish it's been a while although my nails they feel really nice and moist moist <laughs> they feel moisturized because I've just let them breathe for over a week okay enough rambling let me grab some more coffee He's a little early. So I have um, a painter arriving today to meet with me to go over the areas that I want an estimate on for the outside of the house. I wasn't expecting him this early, but I have to be real quiet still. So let me grab my mask and a sweatshirt. It's a little chilly out. So we just got done coming back from getting our blood test done and Jay's ready to pass out. Today's his birthday. Today's your birthday. Na 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 na. It's my birthday too. <laughs> Jay didn't pass out because he's a uh, he's a fainter. <laughs> you know? Huh. When he gets like blood work, vaccinated, or anything that has anything to do with needles, the guy gets white, even whiter than, well, let's face it, than what he is. Like pale white, like he just gets anxiety about it and he faints. <laughs> so luckily, knock on wood, he hasn't in a while. Any of you guys experience that as well? I guess there's a lot of people out there. And why do they keep showing the shots? <laughs> with the needle like in all the news commercials and they're always showing the shots and jay's like mm, oh, mm. <laughs> we stopped at jack in the box and we got some breakfast jocks i got mom's medication because i couldn't give the medications to her before the blood work and same with me so we're sitting here both as i gave her her medications here she was taking them by herself which i normally hand each one to her and i just asked her i said so mom i said did you take all of your medications <laughs> and you said i think so is that overdose <laughs> silly silly girl are you happy that all of that is now done yeah i was telling queen g that it's almost like shooting at the crap table with our blood work. Come on, good numbers. Right, mom? You gotta take care of each other, right, mom? Right. We can sing happy birthday together. Oh, yes. 
Okay, ready, mm -hmm. Mom? Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to do that. But you're doing such a fine job without me. <laughs> look how huge this, <laughs> this one is. In the picture, it didn't look like it was going to be that large of a lamp. Let's see. Compare it. <laughs> it's nice though. Oh yeah, that's much better because that's going to go right there. What are you doing today? Oh, you know. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> Sorry. That's such a big space right there. That will work. And gonna work. Get about it. Looks balanced. We got Alley Cat right there. I don't know why I'm whispering, but there that cat is. That was funny. It was taking a nap right there. I got Kitty right here taking a nap there. Done doing the yards together. Both yards look good. Looks a little bit more modern. I have my solar lights still on it though. I put a little string of solar lights on there. And again, it has the wood, Daniel. Just kidding. <laughs> Someone caught that on my last video on the comments section. That was hilarious. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that does look better. One of the things that I got at Target yesterday was a sheet set. It has a fitted sheet and the flat sheet. It's by Threshold. I don't know. I hope it fits. We'll see. And I'm not too sure. I'm still debating if I want this. This is a gray. I don't have really gray in our bedroom yet. As uh, something that I've been wanting or maybe thinking about maybe changing in our bedroom. I'm also going to check on Amazon. See what they also have as well. Before I unopen this whole nice package. Yeah. But there. <laughs> back from Safeway. So I got two more nectarines to add to our fruit. Three russet potatoes. I've never tried this bread. It's the Signature Select Sliced Sourdough Bread. Mm, we're gonna try it. A head of lettuce, because I'm making tacos tomorrow. Some bananas to go with our morning breakfast. And I want something a little bit different. So I'm gonna try the Stella Rosa. Is it Stella Rosa? Stella Rosa? No, Stella Rosa Rosé. Hey, and it was only $10.99 it was on sale. <laughs> the Wheat Thins, Big Wheat Thins, because I'm just really snacking with that with the Borson Garlic Fine garlic and Fine Herbs Cheese Spread. Ooh, so good. Ooh, that would go good with the wine. Salary Snacks. Isn't that cute? My coffee, Mom's coffee, a ham steak mix vegetables to go in my tacos tomorrow and butter some little grocery haul oh and i got two of the progresso chicken and wild rice something easy soup and salad one night going to go in the backyard and harvest what we can it's a gorgeous day today it's like 70 perfect 70 just got done watering the garden and there's lots to harvest so let's harvest first off first off is this huge <laughs> cucumber that just took that down look at that dang that is a big cucumber oh yeah that's gonna make a really nice cucumber salad don't you think <laughs> it doesn't even fit that's too funny and we move along in here, we have a lemon cucumber. Over here, we have another lemon cucumber. Thank you. We have some more there, but those are kind of small right now. <laughs> look, we have a cute little one right here. Not ready yet. Look at that one, is that pretty? Another one, but I'm gonna allow that one to kind of get a little bit bigger. Some more flowers. So it's doing good. Thank you, cucumber plant. Okay, I have some zucchinis going here. Had a little bit of some aphids, so I 
sprayed some neem oil in there. These ones are looking pretty good. And even on the other plant. Right there. Here's some of the romas. These are ready. So I'm going to take some of these from that. Cherry tomatoes in there. Some of the sun gold tomatoes are really good right there too. And I harvested an Anaheim pepper and then two of these gorgeous looking jalapeno peppers. Look at them. Ooh, yes. And I'm making tacos tonight, so this is going to be perfect for tacos to add to that. Now I'm going to go to my blackberry plant. Set this right here. I love gardening. Ooh, look at these. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Aren't those gorgeous? It's going to be great for after our lunch today. We'll have some fresh blackberries. It's almost like hide and go seek. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are also enjoying gardening this year. Oh my gosh, these look so good. <laughs> ah, how perfect are these? Oh my goodness. They're really plump and juicy. My succulents are doing good. I just have to go in there and really clean it all up. But look at these, they're huge. <laughs> there we go. Today's harvest. <sighs> Bloating. <laughs> hey mom. Yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna make some um, a ham steak for dinner. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm, I probably like a cucumber salad maybe? I don't know, I gotta still think of my size. But it'll be easy. Easy peasy. Mac and cheese. Oh yeah, mac and cheese. Ooh, I gotta get that started. <laughs> oh yes, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Whoa, I'm really... <laughs> Alright, let's get dinner going. Oh yes. A five star dining experience. Oh, we got the AC running. Downstairs in Queen G's room. This is about 82. All right, guys. I know that some of you don't follow my cleaning or my decluttering videos. You guys are just basically here for my vlogs, which I truly, truly thank you for that. I just got done decluttering my closet in here and it went really well. I did a little bit of a story time, so you might want to go jump over there and check that out. You know, we did some of our school shopping at the flea market, so I kind of went into that. So go check out that video. Good news is that these two jeans, you guys, these were my hold on to whenever I can get fit back into these jeans. Well, that day is come. Holy moly, Batman. They fit. I guess I'll keep these. I can now fit into my gold jeans. <laughs> All right. That's so cool, though. Don't you love that? Now on to the next goal. We're watching Sophia. My friend from My Great Challenge, we're watching her um, vacation. Really interesting, us here in the West Coast, <laughs> we don't get to see all this and the history and she did a fantastic job of her video and her editing. I gotta give my friend props, man. Go check her out. If you're not following her, you should follow her. Mom, what do you think of the whole video? I love history. And I, love, I enjoy the story and everything. Yeah. That's very difficult. This is way too sweet. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so I need to put all that in bags and donate that. All in all, today was a good day. I <laughs> have the windows closed because it's about, I don't know, about 82 right now, I think it is. 283. Ooh, and you can really smell the smoke. You can see all the haze. Look, it's not like blue. It's really hazy. It's it's a uh, oh, it's crazy. Blood pressure's good today. Yay! <laughs> Not there be light. Okay, guys. <laughs> I was 
totally caught up in the moment. I hope this is better lighting. Okay. I was totally caught up in the moment. And if you guys follow me on Instagram at DLoveyLife, then you know that I was just putting on my makeup and stuff. I was listening to some music and, and I was like, oh, you know, I remember when I wore this at our family reunion back on the reservation. I had my pretty necklace that was gifted to me from my beautiful aunt. And so I put that on and I, I'm like oh you know maybe put some earrings on oh I haven't worn this ring and I'm looking at myself and I'm like, where am I going I have nowhere to go <laughs> I just totally got caught up in the moment you know so anyways I was saying I was gonna put up back on my caregiver hat for my mom which is basically my caregiver hat is my bun I just got done doing physical therapy with my mom. She's so persistent in standing and walking again, just like I am. And all day last night, it was just on my mind. And today, I really want to take that as a total priority before I do anything really in the rest of the afternoon. She's still moving her paralyzed left leg that was once paralyzed, I should say. And so today, I just want to make sure that I've worked with her left leg. So I'm having her do kicks and she's initiating the kick. And she can definitely push with her left side now very strong so I'm really happy with that hopefully when Jay gets home I want to then practice standing so that we can get her to stand for like a minute and then two minutes and then three minutes and let's see just how much she can endure the first time the doctor has agreed to get her back into physical therapy but I just don't feel this is safe enough right now during this time I might start up maybe this fall we'll see we'll see how everything kind of rides she is now watching her youtube subscriptions so this gives me a little bit of time to film and i have some mail i just got this yesterday okay let there be light on that <laughs> sorry i have it's it's warm and muggy so i have the ac going on so therefore i have all the blinds closed right now to help out Oh, you know it's fancy smancy when they have a tassel like that. Just kidding. <laughs> California King. It had all of the right measurements. This one will fit up to an 84. 84 inches, which is, what, seven, 7 feet? And this one has the deep pockets. This is the color of our bedding. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the wash, and then we'll put it on the bed. I think I'm going to try that first in case I need to return this. I went to my P.O. box, and this is from Val M. Creations. Isn't that cute? It says, Handmade with Love. Ooh, that's a pretty card. Thank you. Thank you for purchasing from my small shop. I truly do appreciate it. I hope this note finds you well. The stickers are cute, and I hope you enjoy and love them. Take care. Ahi hat. Val M Creations. Thanks, Val. Yacht A. Beautiful. I just thought these were so cute and I just had to have some. Oh, and look, she also included Mario Badescu skincare. How cute. Look at that. I love that. Don't worry, be happy. Then she puts in decal instructions in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Means thank you. Again, go check out her Etsy shop. I had someone reach out to me and they wanted to ship me their planner and I said absolutely. <laughs> I would love to share this on my channel. So this is a, um, a caregiver's planner 2021. Uh, she designed it. Her name is Shelly Huff Designs. You can check her out at, she has her website here. And for the planner, if you're interested, it's right here, mycaregiverplanner.com. I thought that was so cool. So anyway, she wanted to send me her planner and just take a look at it. Let's check it out. It has gray and the purple. I don't know, it's almost like those, um, I forget what kind of flowers those are. But you know, the ones that you blow on and make a wish. <laughs> to care for others, you must also care for yourself. Ain't that the truth? That's what I always say. Hello, she has a pretty introduction right here. And the planner helps to keep the focus of your needs as a caregiver by tracking self-care and journaling. So that is so cool. And I really like the front here. It has like a looking ahead, like goals. She has goals for the new year, financial, health, wellness, personal and spiritual 
And then where do I want to be in one year, five years, and 10 years? And then at the bottom here is what is exciting that motivates me and how can I incorporate these into my daily routine? And then on this page, she has what impact do I want to make and how do I want to be remembered? I always have to think about that. And then what do I want to make time for this year? So that's like your goal page in the beginning of the planner. And then she has all of the holidays and observations on here, which is nice. She has each month categorized here, full month calendar here, which is nice because then you can see everything at a glance. And then she starts off the first week as a horizontal you have space to put whatever you need to for each day and then on here she has at the bottom she has an area here for a shopping list and then on the opposite page here she has my action center and then she has a way of you tracking that so water devotional journaling vitamins medicine self-care goal tracking and of course fitness and then in this section here is for the emotional journaling celebrating all your high fives throughout that week you can jot down there and then notes from the action center which is up here so if you have any notes for yourself then you would enter that here and then at the bottom here is all is called care action center and this is the part where i'm guessing this is the one who you take care of your loved one you can keep track of everything so you have it all here it says overall pain intensity one through ten symptoms one through ten meds morning afternoon and evening meds a mood tracker a weight tractor blood pressure tractor breakfast lunch and dinner if they ate all half or none so that's a really nice detail and I really like how she breaks it down to each week and then next page she has monthly expenses so you can have your checking and your savings she has your starting balance your ending balance all of your bills you can list right here it has your due dates budget actual balance and then she has a column here with a, ch a check box and then on this side here she also included meal planning so she has sunday through saturday of your meal plan so you have it all right there and at the bottom she makes it really easy so you can list down all your grocery lists there so it's all in that section the next couple of pages she had created a spot for all the medical appointments so of course as a caregiver caring for your parents or caring for whoever they always have medical appointments you need to catch up on so she has doctor's name time reason for visit follow up our questions and summary of this week's symptoms new or changes to diagnosis or medication and other notes and then next appointments I mean, this is great. This is great for like, especially if you're starting out for caregiving. And then it goes on for the following week. You have your days here horizontally, your shopping list, your action center, your place to put down your notes, caregiving, your monthly expenses, meal planning, grocery. And then you have all your medical appointments for that week, if any, and then you go on to the next week and the same thing and same thing. How cool is that? So Shelly, I think you did a superb job making this caregiving planner really nice. Oh, I like how she has highlights there. Oh, I didn't even see that. So after each month, you can jot down your highlights. How cool. Unfortunately, I just got this <laughs> this month, but I will be using this for September through. Uh, I can only use it to this much for this year, but look, that's a really good planner. And it's really nice. It's, it's compact. It's something that you can just put in your bag um, on the way to the doctors or whatever. That way everything is all in one. Shelly, I think you did a great job. Again, she's also a graphic designer. Again, check out her information here. I will also link it in the description box. A little bit of change of scenery real quick because um, since mom is watching her videos, I need to be over here so you don't hear it too much. I also got some friend mail at my P.O. box as well. And it is from Marcy. 
Look what she gave me. It's a postcard from Painted Desert. It's right off of I-40. It's on the way, like if you're on the way to Gallup. <laughs> And I remember this so well. I mean, we stopped there so many times, so many times, because it's on my way to our home on the reservation. The last time we were there for our family reunion, uh, they have like some dinosaurs that they place along the Interstate 40. And if you guys are from the Navajo reservation, of course, I, I think you guys probably know who I'm talking about. Anyways, I remember I was just cracking up about those dinosaurs. <laughs> Because I don't know if they added some or what. Or were there more? I thought there were more. But Jay got a kick out of it. Because he was driving. And I was trying to take pictures of him as we were driving by. Oh my gosh. Okay. She says, I started watching your vlogs during the pandemic lockdown. You are very entertaining. <laughs> Thanks, Marcy. <laughs> I especially am awe, in awe of how well you take care of your mom. I am very familiar with the Bay Area as her elder sister lives here as well. Oh, cool. Um, this landscape reminded me of a place I took my dad to gather herbs. Aw. And I thought of you. Sending you a bit of home respectfully, Marcy. Oh, and she is from Klakota. And I've only driven through there um, well, I shouldn't say not like a whole lot, but we have taken that on our way to Tuba City sometimes. We would take that route. It would always be during the night where you can't see a thing. <laughs> but oh my gosh, Marcy, thank you so much. Um, oh, I love it. I'm going to show that to Queen G so we can both have a little bit of home 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 i speaking about home i'm i'm missing um mom and i were talking about how we would really like to take another trip back home so i don't know i'm, I'm thinking maybe next year i would like to go back home i don't know well i have to i have to do a lot of planning for that a lot of planning for that and speaking of planning <laughs> I have been trying to stay on top of what I placed for my planner. So like today I'm feeling good because I didn't I didn't really put a whole lot of tasks for myself today. Tomorrow is going to be pretty much an easy day. I'm just going to have my mom help me make her lasagna. So we're going to have lasagna. Uh, last night, you know what? We had takeout. It's hot. It's smoky. It's just humid. And uh, I did not feel like cooking. And I'm sure there's plenty of you who probably agree and do the same. Today... I made myself, remember this? I need to find this again. I really enjoy using this. So yeah, so this morning I was trying to transfer some more files from the external drive and all that other good stuff. I needed to keep track. So this was in my desk and I just started jotting down things that I knew I needed to concentrate on. <laughs> This week, I think it went really well, knowing that I got all three of us, all of our blood tests or blood work to be done, just now need to make sure that we do all of our follow-ups here shortly within the next week, and then it'll be on to our vision, <laughs> our eye appointments together. And I'm really thankful that Jay didn't like faint. <laughs> He's military. If you are in the military family or you served in the military first of all thank you for your sacrifice and for your service then you know in the vaccinations they literally have them in a line and they have like what what jay would call be like a shotgun like a like a machine gun of shots they would just like next next so like five would go in and there'd be five guys with the gunshots that have the shots or whatever. Then, <laughs> and then they would take five and they all five of them go. And then the next person go. And whoosh. So you would just go through until you get all your vaccinations. Isn't that cray cray? And I'm thinking, dude, if you went through that, <laughs> you're okay. I'm really glad he didn't faint on mom and I. My mom always tries to like rub his back and she pats him. <laughs> she holds his hand it's adorable i tell you jay and my mom they just have this this special bond it is so precious to watch and then jay's another year older Woo. <laughs> 
Uh, but you know, that's something that you got to be grateful for, you know, for another year. I, I don't, I'm, I'm still in denial the age that we are currently at. I, I don't feel like I'm over 50 whatsoever. That's just crazy. <laughs> but like I was telling Jay and my mom that, you know, hey, we have another year, we're healthy, we're safe, we have a roof over our head, um, new windows, <laughs> new windows, but I'll have to get back to that. That's beyond a whole other video. I have some more to add to the window situation. I think I'm gonna wait for that for laundry chit chat. If you guys haven't seen my declutter video yet, I urge you to go check out the decluttering video, especially about my story with my mom and um, shopping school clothes at the flea market. Interesting. And also wanted to let you guys know if you follow Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life, I'm sure you have because majority of, of our viewers share. Um, but if you're not, go check out her channel and also my friend Karen at This Manor's Mom. We're, we're trying to get on to the whole keeping up with the decluttering of our homes. And I'm going to be filming a decluttering video weekly, even though I'm continuing on with the summer declutter, just to let you guys know that for the next four weeks, each Thursday is going to be a specific decluttering video for you all. Cause I know majority of you love the decluttering videos. I'm not gonna lie, I do too. <laughs> I think that's where you see most of my humor. I need to do a laundry chit chat was gonna be next and my meal planning, I need to get back to my meal planning. I have a couple of ideas on that one. In the next couple of weeks, I'll do another garden update for all of you gardeners out there. So leave me a comment down below of what you're enjoying most about this summer. Cause summer is almost over y'all. It's gonna be fall y'all. I love saying that. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be doing Vlogtober this year cause we have some plans. So I'm really not too sure. I'm gonna see what it, I can do about that. But until then, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, give this gal a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below just to say hello. And if you'd like to send us some friend mail, then please do. The P.O. box is in my description. Remember to take care of yourself. I'm taking care of myself. Until the next one, guys. Bye.